What's up, Doombots? Tony Scangilli here to talk about the spending strike, the boycott, hashtag fix Fox next, whatever you want to call it. This is a very simple idea that people might not understand. So we're just going to talk about what it is, why it's happening, what the expectations are, and when it will end. Now, I cannot speak for the entire community of Wales. I will not speak for the entire community of Wales. I will not speak for the entire community of players. I will speak for myself and people who have said they agree with the things that I believe this type of action accomplishes. A little background around me, if you don't know from my stream or from my videos, around March of 2019, I retired as a whale. I was spending way more money than I should have in a mobile game. Um, and around that time, between the Red Star Orbs, the horrible RNG-based progression systems, and the frequency of characters, bugs, problems that the game came out with in succession, I just figured this was not the kind of company that deserved my money. Uh, I did not quit spending. I cut my spending by 70%, you know, like the same amount that you save when you buy a generic box next offer from Marvel Strike Force. Uh, I would spend conservatively five or $600 less a month than I used to. And that's a big jump. Um, Obviously, going from where I was to zero would probably have made a bigger jump, but it wasn't unnoticed. Time progressed. I kept spending significantly less over the course of a month. I started spending that money in different games or, you know, on stuff like food. And uh, the game continued on at the pace it uh, had already set. There were parts of the game that became more enjoyable. There were parts that became less enjoyable. But overall, my trend felt slightly downward. Not dramatically, but slightly. This was brought to a head, I'm willing to say, right around Invisible Woman. Invisible Woman, um, we're obviously going past the Phoenix event. Invisible Woman event came out, and then they chose to use the most recent five characters to unlock her, that those characters were not particularly good uh, at the time, and even by this today's definitions, they're not particularly good, but that's where I started feeling a little bit, like maybe even now I'm spending too much. Once we got to Halloween and the Hell release, I had informed my community, Hell would be used to unlock a legendary character, wink wink, Black Bolt, nudge nudge, and told people I would be buying Hella. We fast forward, the information becomes public, Fox Next makes an official notification. We have the Asgardians, which functionally are a phenomenal team on both sides of a war, better on defense, obviously. And uh, I did not regret any of the spending I had made previous to that, because as they had already set up with the uh, Invisible Woman, I had imagined it was uh, a new positive change they had made was that within a couple of weeks of the legendary event, the characters would be accessible as a team and therefore people would be able to access the new ones. They did not. When I had recognized that that was not what was going to happen, the first week of the month came, Black Bolt's event came. I did, I spent my money in December. I made sure I can get them. And I spent less than $50 on Marvel Strike Force. This is the lowest amount of money I had ever spent on Marvel Strike Force ever. Uh, I am not the progenitor of this idea. This has been months upon months. This has been the chat uh, among the highest spenders in the game, and, and to be fair, some of the most competitive players in the game. Uh, at the top end of Raid and War, they just kept feeling like the amount of money they were spending did not uh, equate to fun. 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 That's it. Fun. They weren't having fun. They weren't buying new characters to 
have more fun in war uh, by edging out and having a better version of a team. They weren't buying red star orbs. They weren't having fun. I stopped having fun. I continued to have less fun. And then we're now, we have four character patches back to back. I'm just not having fun. This announcement, which is in the link below, uh, advised the entire community that some of the top alliances and alliance clusters in the game will not be spending. This is the Luther's 95 Theses. Marvel Strike Force, you have failed this city. Now that you're caught up, and feel free to pause this and read the link in the description below to understand what the problems are, because a lot of people will probably assume this is we don't we can't we don't get enough for our money. That's a part of everything, but that's not true. The game itself is in an unhealthy place, as you will read here. We can start talking about why boycotting slash spending strikes exist and what they accomplish. Now, if you're of the mindset that this won't matter, or if you're in the mindset where it has to be zero dollars or it won't make a difference, I'm not here to change your mindset. That's fine. I've talked to my alliance and I've said I am not going to tell you how to spend your money. I'm going to tell you why I am not spending, why I've thrown my hat in the ring with the other whales who are not spending, and why I would hope you wouldn't spend as well, but I will have no hard feelings. This is your game. Have fun the way you'd like. I do not put my ideals onto any person, and I would hope no one else would either. Fox Next is not good at their job. They are adequate at milking whales. They are adequate at putting out enough content. They have not been good at game development. They haven't. The game does not feel rewarding uh, for players who have been playing this game for 600 plus days, for 500 plus days, and honestly probably for people who are about a year in at this point. Very little rewarding aspects to playing a game. They do have the benefit of this being arguably the best Marvel game currently available on the platform, on the mobile device platform. And they might have been able to rest on their laurels for a long time. Why this boycott is happening and why it matters is very simple. I don't care how much money I've spent in this game. Uh, I just know that I don't feel comf comfortable uh, giving any more money to a company that disrespects me. I personally feel disrespected. I feel like I do not have a name. Uh, I feel like this company cares more about my wallet than my enjoyment of the game. And I don't need them to say, good job, Tony. I need to feel at the very least like they're not going out of their way to try to pinch pennies out of my wallet. So I'm confident in saying, if you are not happy with the way this game has gone over the last any amount of time, if you think there is a positive way to uh, enact change, it's the easiest thing you can do. Do not spend money. If they come out with a character offer of someone that you like, Cyclops, Mr. Sinister, I'm not going to tell you not to buy it. But I'd ask that you consider what the people who've bought every offer that's ever come out are doing and understand that you're not going to catch up. You're not going to overtake the Pants of Hulks and the Legion of Cabals in this spending strike. The end result of this strike uh, has no definition, and that is intentional. Because if, if demands were made, then demands could be met. And then, once a strike ends in any form, what happens next? They can re, re, you know, they can retract. They can change. It doesn't teach a lesson, and this teaches a lesson. This tells the people who make a game, because that's what Fox Next is. They are not a government. 
They are not elected officials. They are a bunch of people who make a video game. It tells them, you have done a poor job. Until you do a better job, you do not deserve the money from us. Us being people who spend. Boycotting does not work. Specifically. Spending strikes do. Spending strikes work because that's the metric by which companies gain investors. Uh, and they are very different. Um, boycotting and spending strikes are very different. So I will refer to this as a spending strike. If you are happy with the way the game is going, just like I said when the Scopely video, uh, takeover video came out, don't change anything. Keep doing what you're doing. You'll be fine. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. If you're not happy with the way the game is going, I would advise you also stop spending. Stopping spending will tell Fox Next that their, their efforts are not worth our money anymore. Whether anyone goes and buys the $50 Cyclops offer when it comes out, great. Whether you go and buy a, a gold orb because you want to, it's fine. It's not about not spending. It's not about zero dollars. It's not a zero sum game. It's not a binary status. You're, you're not either zero dollars or all the money. But if I spent a thousand dollars a week and I now spend a hundred dollars a week, that's going to be noticed. And I'm only one person. So if 200, 300 people who were spending a grand total of $200,000 a month, $500,000 a month, all stop or cut their spending down, and then that five hundred thousand a month goes to a hundred thousand a month. It says it sends a message. You're no longer as profitable. Now, there was a response today to this comment, and I've also linked that in the description below. And the response is from Cerebro, an official response worded by Fox Next and the devs given to Cerebro, or he wrote it and they approved it, I don't know, or care, um, addressing some of the issues that were brought up. To this, and I want to be the first to say, cool, thank you. That said, uh, I do not take words uh, with the same weight and measure that I take actions. These are words. These uh, are not changes. So no, I'm gonna continue to not spend. I like what they say here. I like these words. Good job. Now I could say, this is how uh, every quarter should start in Marvel Strike Force with a roadmap of changes that aren't just blog post telling you what already happened this week or what's about to start next week, a strike time video once a month that uh, lets you meet a developer who's got things in the works. Great, cool. That's not information. And that's not going to say, you've already gone too far, Fox Next. People have already said, we, you're not worth our money. That's what, a, that's what the strike is. That's the takeaway from all of this. It is a bunch of people who've spent money saying, you're not worth our money. Now, if you think this doesn't affect you, that's great. You, all, you can be wrong all you want. No matter whether you've spent a dollar or not, this strike is for everyone in the, in the game. This is not a strike saying make the offers cheaper. This is not a strike saying, hey, uh, you know, make Red Stars less shitty so I can buy them. No. This strike is very simple. This strike is the game does not play well. Make it play well. And everyone's going to be in on it for their own amount. Some people might be totally fine if Red Stars uh, started dropping more frequently. More frequently, you know, like high drops or if you got more promotion credits. Some people might be totally okay with that. Most people won't. This strike has no end. This is the most important thing I, you can take away from this video. There's no end to this strike. There's no demands. There are changes that have to be made. I cannot speak for everyone, and I refuse to, but I will tell you from myself that I believe Fox Next is capable of not being a garbage fire uh, company. And I believe 
that if they take actions that make this game more enjoyable for the community as a whole, uh, I would be more incentivized to spend money. Do not look at this as a hostage take situation. Do not look at this as a bunch of spenders being whiny. Look at this for what it is. The people who are spending money, the most money in this game, have decided they are not going to spend any more money in this game. And that affects everybody. That affects you no matter where you are. And if the changes aren't made that incentivizes people to spend money, where are we going to go? What is going to happen? We're just going to play this game for free forever? People who are willing to spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a month on a mobile game are just going to be content with spending no money and playing it? No. We're just going to go somewhere else. These are these are the things that are likely to happen. Again, I'm not speaking for everybody, just putting in my two cents. All of the links I we talked about are in the description. So educate yourself, find out where you have an opinion on, join or don't. If you're free to play, at least understand why this is for your interest too. Character farm ability. And know more importantly, that words mean nothing. Actions have weight actions have merit and until fox next starts taking actions not talking about actions uh, there's no end in sight thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you have any questions comments concerns leave, feel free to leave them in here like comment subscribe you know all that stuff uh, also discord and uh, you can check out my discord you can check me out uh, when i stream bring it up how do you feel uh, I know some people are concerned that, uh, you know, this is this might be a whole bunch of whiny people, and, and it might be. We I, I'll take that. We might be whining, but guess what? We are organized. We are vocal. We are the spenders, not spending. So our whining will not be stopped by you telling us we're whiners. Our whining will be stopped our complaining will be stopped. Our spending strike will be stopped when Fox Next makes the game that we consider worth investing in. So have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.